right to the canvas. Okay. And I just go back and forth very evenly to apply a very good distribution of color throughout the canvas. Okay. It all it takes is a very thin coat of, of the liquid white to the canvas to apply to give you a nice even distribution of color. yellowish color here. And I'm going to continue now. Somewhere in here, I am going to make a little bitty, well actually, I'm going to put the trees in here. I'm just going to make some little trees. I was almost thinking of making a little I got a basic shape for a house in there already. And then later on, I'm going to go in and put some bushes in there. Now, the same thing on the other side. But first, I'm going to actually show you now, again, how we can put some snow on the mountain.
I'm like brown and try to show you how I can complete the house. videos to do this, to get this far to show you what I actually do here. So in my next video, I will show you how I can actually lay in some little bushes and little sticks and twigs and stuff like that there. Okay, it's been a pleasure. Happy painting. Okay, in this segment I am going to show everybody how I complete my oil painting by adding sticks, twigs, tree branches, and tree trunks, and bushes in here. Um, so, at this point right here, I have, I'm going to have to get a little bit of paint thinner on my brush here and go into a little bit of Van Dyke Brown with the least little touch of paint thinner on my uh, on my brush just to give it like an ink like consistency and then I'm gonna go just like this starting from here to give little indications that there's some little tiny things going in here. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do here is get a little more paint thinner on my brush and then go back into Van Dyke Brown again. And then on the other side, going to do the same exact thing. Okay. 
to know that that is part has been complete well, completed I could go into some cadmium yellow here and then I am going to show everybody how I lay in highlights on my trees I'm not touching very much like uh, Very little highlights. And you can still see the indications of the little branches from the trees sticking through the painting. And it gets darker and darker as you go down the tree. That is the way that Bob Ross will show you how to paint when Bob Ross is teaching his wet on wet painting technique, which I have been following Bob Ross and studying him for over 20 years here. Now I really got to think about what I'm doing and before I start painting and think about different things that I got to do to my oil painting um, before I do start painting here and also I'm going to go into some uh, I think it's some phthalo blue I'm going to go into because I want to add a little more highlights and shadows on my mountain. But I will show you how to do the highlights and shadows on the final part of the mountain when I have completed everything else in my oil painting. Let's see here, we're going to go into maybe I'm going to do some Van Dyke Brown right now. Go into Van Dyke Brown without cleaning my brush. I am not cleaning the brush. going to go about right here and going to lay in a slight little path here that comes way over to here somewhere right by this house I'm just going to lay in a slight little path where it looks like the path is going into the woods over there somewhere. Okay, so, so there is a slight little path that I just entered into my painting. Okay. And then I will take, with the knife, with the palette knife, take some titanium white. I'm going to go right here. Just to lay in a little highlight to the path. Kind of graze it a little bit, just graze the canvas a little bit. Don't want to 
want to have so much white showing. knife right there on up and then put some black in there a little bit of black color midnight black that's what it and we are gonna lay in some little bushes in here I will show everybody how the laying bushes. You take the one inch brush after you loaded your paint. You gotta think about shape and form when you're doing this also with your bushes. A little bush there, a little bush right there. down here I'm going to put another little bush there and think about shape and form a little bit inside here Then mm -hmm. 